enjoy the comedy of Michelle Durante. Come on, give her a hand. All right. I am a retired detective from the New York City Police Department. And I worked in the South Bronx, it was a very Spanish neighborhood, you know? But the community loved me so much, they built a statue that looked just like me. Yeah, I call it a statue, they call it a pinata. I was, uh, I was working out on Coney Island one day, I see a guy snatch a chain from a woman, so I go chasing after him, and he got away. He got on the cyclone. I didn't make the height requirement. I almost got in trouble one time. I responded to the scene of an accident and I gave this woman a chest massage from mouth to mouth. She turned out to be just a bystander. <laughs> I'd like to get that out there just in case you had any questions. So, um, oh, I came to the aid of this pregnant woman one time. She was so grateful. She said she was going to name her kid after me, and uh, she had a boy. His name is Butch. <laughs> People ask me all the time, did you ever date anybody that you met at work? And I did, this beautiful girl. Her name was Prisoner 4426. <laughs> So there was this guy who was going to jump off a 20-story building because he found out his wife was a lesbian. So I yelled to him, don't jump. First, give me your wife's number. <laughs> so um, the guys I used to work with, they used to play practical jokes on me, you know? Like uh, one day they switched up my nightstick with a dildo. <laughs> I went in to go put the perp in the car and he took one look at me and he said, you know what, I did it. <laughs> yeah. Another time they tried, to, uh, they tried to play this practical joke on me, they stuffed this, uh, this blow-up doll in my locker, you know? So when I opened it up, she was like, ah, you know? The joke's on them because I liked it. I still have her. Her name is Olivia. Yeah. I hate this. People assume that because I'm a lesbian, I'm on a softball team. That's just wrong. It's a bowling team. I was out on Fire Ireland recently. Happy surprise, I know. There you go. I knew you looked familiar. straight people there, and they act all offended because they see gay couples holding hands and kissing. Right? It's like going to NASCAR and saying, what's all this white trash doing here? <laughs> Growing up, the church made me feel real guilty about my sexuality. Yeah, so I decided to confess to a priest that I was gay. He was sitting next to me on the ferry to Fire Island. <laughs> when I was growing up, my parents sent me to a gay conversion therapist. After about three sessions, we started dating. traveling recently, like Peter mentioned, you know, so I'm walking through the airport 
and I can just see, you know, feel the eyes on the TSA agents, like, look at this lesbian. Can't wait to get into her luggage. So sure enough, I get back to my hotel, I open up my suitcase, there's a little letter, it says the TSA has searched your luggage. Right? Joke's on them though, because you know who was in there? Olivia. guy came up to me after a show one time. He said, listen, I'd like to get a picture of you and your friends doing some lesbo things. I sent him a picture of my bowling team. Another guy said to me, I can fix you if you let me take you to a hotel. Yeah. I said, I could fix you too if you let me take you to the vet. My friend Grace said to me, Michelle, you gotta ease up with the vibrator. I'm like, why? What's the problem? She was running the supermarket. <laughs> so I was in uh, San Francisco for Halloween. It was pretty cool. They had this haunted house for lesbians. When I walked through it, straight people would jump out and question my life choices. <laughs> And I, I, it's my own fault. I went on my worst vacation. I booked myself at a hunting lodge in Canada. I don't even hunt, but I misread the brochure. It said the woods were loaded with beaver. I went to Disney World for Gay Pride Week. That was a lot of fun. Um, they painted a lavender stripe down Main Street. Snow White was holding hands with Cinderella. They even changed the name of Space Mountain to Brokeback Mountain. So uh, people ask me all the time, when you're in a relationship, are you more like the man or you're more like the woman? You know, it depends. Because in the bedroom, I'm more like the man, but I'm more like the woman when I'm out to dinner and the check comes. <laughs> Went shopping recently at the adult toy store. I was looking for a new vibrator. Yeah. I knew you looked familiar. So I walked in, I saw the one I wanted. I said to the salesperson, that's it, that's the one I want. He's like, you can't have it. So I'm like, no, you don't understand, that's the one I want. And he's like, but you can't have it. And I'm like, but why not? He goes, that's the fire extinguisher. Michelle Durant to give her a hand.